Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode 13, good old 13, of Rayman. We made it all throughout this damn game, collecting 96 out of 102 Electoons. We are here in the final world, the Cave of Scops, on the final level before the very end. Mr. Scop's stalactites. And the only thing I can tell you guys from experience is to never worry too much about your situation because things could always come out better than expected. Because you won't know until you do it and until you know. So let's do it, guys. Final. Final. Hush <laughs> of Rayman. I can't really say that completely because obviously after this is the very end, technically the last level of Rayman. We don't want to go this way first. I just wanted to punch, just jump and punch. But this fucking music, this is the best music in the game, personally. And it's so great that they play it here. Oh wow, we just spawned the cage by the way. Well that's this one. By standing up there and coming down here. And then we want to go this way. That was 97. Reason why, by the way, that cage is on spikes, alright? <laughs> that is why I died there. That is fine. Good start. We want to do that. Because, yeah, there, there's spikes on it. My, like, my god, they're really trying to protect the last bit. That's 98. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we do got one last thing to do, one last thing to go through, and that is defeating Mr. Dark once and for all, because he is the one that did all this madness. I'm glad we saved that. <laughs> but this is the final screen, having the last cages. They are all here. And that one, that one's for free. That is number 99. If you got everything so far. Shouldn't have died, but that's fine. Again, we can blow all of our lives now. At this point. Because so I was trying to blow it all the last time, but that went so well. Um, also, by the way. You can't trick me. I thought something was there the first time I played through in practice. At this point, I'm thinking, like, maybe we should just done practice <laughs> as the episode, because it was pretty epic, but all the deaths that took place. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was some shit. Um. Um. I don't know. Fuck. I don't know where we're at with cages, right? We're, we need two more still, right? I'm trying to remember. This is what we're missing. We had to hit that and come back here. That's right. Alright, so I'm going to intentionally die, first of all. We could have definitely made that back because. Again, after hitting the cage, we can have our fist back to punch, but um, this is, this last cage is easy to miss, and I'm going to intentionally miss it just to see what happens if we beat this level without collecting all the electrons, see if it'll say anything. I just want to show that off. Oh my god. This is the final jumps, by the way. But once you see it, you're like, okay, it makes sense. I know where it's at. You have to spawn it. That's 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 the hint I'll give you. Fuck! <laughs> I went through that part so much better. Like, it, I was having a hard time like that, but I at least finally went through it without dying. First try. 
Maybe second try, I don't know. Can you guess where it's at? Because I mean, I, I've shown it a couple times. Coming through here. Alright, we want to be a little <laughs> quiet focused. There we go. And I don't think there's really anything over there to spawn. Oh boy, okay. Yeah. So there we go. And there's no exit at the beginning. So we can't just come in, show it, and then exit. I'm gonna have to go through all this again, but that's fine. Because this is the second out of third screen. This is the introduction of Mr. Scops. And every time he slams his claw down, one of these will randomly fall, and it's random each time. So let's just see if we can do this first try. That's why I'm jumping. Alright. I'm gonna go this way. Oh! And he drops the last one. We gotta hang there. Get back up, because if he slams his claw while you're on it, it'll cause you to fall off. And he'll do this three times. Alright, then get up. Follow him. Let's go make the lava rise. Oh my god, and you take massive knockback damage. Alright, so now he's gonna shoot these. Alright, just chase him, just chase him. I think this is it. Bam, right at the end. So we're chasing his ass down. We're about to fight him now. This is already the end. I mean, I guess I could have probably put everything together, but this is how I wanted to split it up. And we're already dead. So, let me just pause it real quick. Uh, I guess the hint you get is from uh, the last level, the last episode, Eat at Joe's. Because you know how the light would only follow Rayman's fist? Well, Mr. Scop's power that he's shooting out of his ass. <laughs> It follows Rayman's fist, so you don't technically... Because I can imagine this boss being ten times harder if you have to use Rayman to do this. Go around it. Come around. Because it always follows you. I can make it hit him. But it's way easier. You're pretty much just punching the boss and avoiding his attack. There you go. If you time it right, that's the way we're going to do it. Because fuck doing it the other way. You can still fuck up and miss, but yeah, use your fist. Just punch this guy. So yeah, just trying to do that eight times. I'm okay doing it this way. Especially the last hit. Because he gets super close to you. It's like there's no way. So yeah, I'm going to punch right then and there. Bam! You're dead, son. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm going to fight you again. Because we're going to have to go back and get that last cage we're missing. Rayman, please help me hurry. I'm coming, Batillo the Fairy, but... Let's see what happens. We can't go anywhere. Oh. I didn't know that was an option. Um. <laughs> I hit select. Okay. I thought I had to do all that. I have to do all that again anyways. But I don't really have to get the cages. So yeah. You're, you're done. It's a dead end. Like you can't go up there. It doesn't really say anything. I'll go ahead and save it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the game, see what it says. Percentage wise. But yeah, Mr. Dark's right up there. This is it, there's nowhere else to go. I know I could've just went down here to save it, but fuck it. Um, so BRB, let's show off the percentage and get that last cage, cause this is it. Okay guys, here we are. Uh. 
With 16 lives, we have all five of our continues. We're at 99% done. Yay. <laughs> so let's go ahead, get back in there. We have one last cage to get. So technically, if you use like a password or whatever, 100% is collecting all the electrons. So technically, we're done with the game if we get this last one. If you think about it, we don't even have to beat Mr. Dark. That's just how you get the ending to the game. That's all it really means. Just like with Crash Bandicoot 1. You know, and since we restarted, we have to watch this again one more time. That's the only other way to to have this opening sequence play again. It's by restarting or by going to another world and coming back. But yeah, let me just go ahead. Because this music, first of all, is really good. But second of all, that was close. Third of all, um... This episode's pretty short, <laughs> all things considering. So then, let me <laughs> get this for sure. So the last cage, guys, where is it? See this tiny ass platform? By the way, we could have just rode this up. That would have been way easier, but this tiny ass platform right here is the key to success. To spawn the last cage in Rayman. We now have all 102 Electoons saved. Everyone saved besides Patilla the Fairy. That's the best way to make that jump. So now we have to fucking do all this again. Just to exit. You suck. I'm glad I caught that. Um, I'm probably going to throw this in too, just because. Uh -huh, just. But yeah. Gotta beat Mr. Scops one more time. Make damn sure he knows his lesson. See, trouble, but we made it through. So I'm gonna beat this guy one more time, and then I'll show you the map on what happens after saving all the electrons. So see you then, BRB. Oh, you know what? Never mind. We don't have to do that again because since we beat him, I guess he is actually dead for good. So, Mr. Scops, we got gotcha. you. We got the last cage. I guess we're doing that. It's just like, hey, I guess maybe no matter where you are in the in the entire world, or I guess once you beat the boss, you don't have to beat the boss again. They just don't exist. I don't know, but there's your answer, guys. <laughs> That's a good way to show it off. So, next time, Mr. Dark's Dare and Candy Chateau, however you pronounce that. I do not know. It's the best place in the world that Mr. Dark has taken over. And without Batilla, Batilla the Fairy, we won't actually have peace and harmony in the world. So we got one last thing to do, uh, to do guys. That's to finally beat the motherfucker that keeps perving on me with those scopes. Stop it. Stop looking at me. I'll see you next time, <laughs> once we kick his ass, for the grand finale of Rayman. See you then.